realms of demonstrations. Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 9 and 10. And the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms, to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Luke 24 verse 19, And he said to them, What things? So they said to him, The things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people. This week, as we are talking about the prophetic realms uh, and just introducing us to the various aspects of the realms of the prophetic, we want to share the second aspect of the prophetic realm, which is that it is realms of demonstration. So when God reveals things to us, when He shows us what He is doing, or when He sends a word into our heart, and then when we speak that word, things happen here on earth. As we see there in Jeremiah, when God told Jeremiah, Jeremiah, I have put my words in your mouth. And what would Jeremiah do? He was just an ordinary man, and he would, you know, speak the word that God put in his mouth. And God said, you know, the words that you speak will impact nations, will impact kingdoms. He said, he said, I have set you over kingdoms, over nations. And when you speak that word, what will happen? Things will be pulled down. Things will be torn down. Things will be uprooted. And things will be built up. Things will be established. So the prophetic demonstrates the work of God. It's the realm of demonstration. That when we simply speak a word that God puts, that God inspires, that God puts in our mouth and He says, look, I want you to speak that word. I want you to say that word. What happens? The demon, it releases or causes a demonstration of the work of God to take place. Whether it's in healing and deliverance, whether it's in tearing down of demonic works or in establishing, furthering the work of God's kingdom, those things happen when we simply speak a word that God puts in our mouth. Jesus they was recognized as a prophet who was mighty, was powerful in word and deed. Every word that he spoke resulted in the deeds of God taking place. And so he was seen as a prophet, was mighty in word and deed. That is another aspect of the prophetic realm. It's the realm of demonstration. That simply speaking, what God is revealing causes the works of God to take place here on earth. I want to encourage you as a believer because you have access as a believer to what God is revealing to you. And when you speak that forth, it causes the works of God to take place here on earth. Remember that the least in the kingdom of God is greater than the greatest of the Old Testament prophets. God can use you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the realms of the prophetic made available to us. And as we are sensitive to you and hear from you and speak that, help us to do it with expectation, knowing that these are realms of demonstration, the works of God come to pass. Thank you for making us co-workers with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.